こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。日常生活で使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Jordan, I've always been curious about horoscopes and astrology. How exactly do they determine what each zodiac sign's fortune will be? Jordan, I've always been curious about horoscopes and astrology. How exactly do they determine what each zodiac sign's fortune will be? Jordan, I've always been curious about horoscopes and astrology. How exactly do they determine what each zodiac sign's fortune will be? Jordan, I've always been curious about horoscopes and astrology. How exactly do they determine what each zodiac sign's fortune will be? Jordan, I've always been curious about horoscopes and astrology. How exactly do they determine what each zodiac sign's fortune will be? Jordan, I've always been curious about horoscopes and astrology. How exactly do they determine what each zodiac sign's fortune will be? Jordan, I've always been curious about horoscopes and astrology. How exactly do they determine what each zodiac sign's fortune will be? Jordan, I've always been curious about horoscopes and astrology. How exactly do they determine what each zodiac sign's fortune will be? Jordan, I've always been curious about horoscopes and astrology. How exactly do they determine what each zodiac sign's fortune will be? Jordan, I've always been curious about horoscopes and astrology. How exactly do they determine what each zodiac sign's fortune will be? It's an interesting topic, Alex. Astrology is based on the belief that the positions and movements of celestial bodies, like planets and stars, can influence human affairs and natural phenomena. Each zodiac sign corresponds to a specific period of the year and is associated with certain personality traits and tendencies. It's an interesting topic, Alex. Astrology is based on the belief that the positions and movements of celestial bodies, like planets and stars, can influence human affairs and natural phenomena. Each zodiac sign corresponds to a specific period of the year and is associated with certain personality traits and tendencies. It's an interesting topic, Alex. Astrology is based on the belief that the positions and movements of celestial bodies, 
like planets and stars, can influence human affairs and natural phenomena. Each zodiac sign corresponds to a specific period of the year and is associated with certain personality traits and tendencies. It's an interesting topic, Alex. Astrology is based on the belief that the positions and movements of celestial bodies, like planets and stars, can influence human affairs and natural phenomena. Each zodiac sign corresponds to a specific period of the year and is associated with certain personality traits and tendencies. It's an interesting topic, Alex. Astrology is based on the belief that the positions and movements of celestial bodies, like planets and stars, can influence human affairs and natural phenomena. Each zodiac sign corresponds to a specific period of the year and is associated with certain personality traits and tendencies. It's an interesting topic, Alex. Astrology is based on the belief that the positions and movements of celestial bodies, like planets and stars, can influence human affairs and natural phenomena. Each zodiac sign corresponds to a specific period of the year and is associated with certain personality traits and tendencies. It's an interesting topic, Alex. Astrology is based on the belief that the positions and movements of celestial bodies, like planets and stars, can influence human affairs and natural phenomena. Each zodiac sign corresponds to a specific period of the year and is associated with certain personality traits and tendencies. It's an interesting topic, Alex. Astrology is based on the belief that the positions and movements of celestial bodies, like planets and stars, can influence human affairs and natural phenomena. Each zodiac sign corresponds to a specific period of the year and is associated with certain personality traits and tendencies. It's an interesting topic, Alex. Astrology is based on the belief that the positions and movements of celestial bodies, like planets and stars, can influence human affairs and natural phenomena. Each zodiac sign corresponds to a specific period of the year and is associated with certain personality traits and tendencies. It's an interesting topic, Alex. Astrology is based on the belief that the positions and movements of celestial bodies, like planets and stars, can influence human affairs and natural phenomena. Each zodiac sign corresponds to a specific period of the year and is associated with certain personality traits and tendencies.
So, when people talk about their sign, they're referring to the position of the sun at the time of their birth? Exactly. Your sun sign is determined by the zodiac constellation that the sun was in at the moment of your birth. So, when people talk about their sign, they're referring to the position of the sun at the time of their birth? Exactly. Your sun sign is determined by the zodiac constellation that the sun was in at the moment of your birth. So, when people talk about their sign, they're referring to the position of the sun at the time of their birth? Exactly. Your sun sign is determined by the zodiac constellation that the sun was in at the moment of your birth. So, when people talk about their sign, they're referring to the position of the sun at the time of their birth? Exactly. Your sun sign is determined by the zodiac constellation that the sun was in at the moment of your birth. So, when people talk about their sign, they're referring to the position of the sun at the time of their birth? Exactly. Your sun sign is determined by the zodiac constellation that the sun was in at the moment of your birth. So, when people talk about their sign, they're referring to the position of the sun at the time of their birth? Exactly. Your sun sign is determined by the zodiac constellation that the sun was in at the moment of your birth. So, when people talk about their sign, they're referring to the position of the sun at the time of their birth? Exactly. Your sun sign is determined by the zodiac constellation that the sun was in at the moment of your birth. So, when people talk about their sign, they're referring to the position of the sun at the time of their birth? Exactly. Your sun sign is determined by the zodiac constellation that the sun was in at the moment of your birth. So, when people talk about their sign, they're referring to the position of the sun at the time of their birth? Exactly. Your sun sign is determined by the zodiac constellation that the sun was in at the moment of your birth. So, when people talk about their sign, they're referring to the position of the sun at the time of their birth? Exactly. Your sun sign is determined by the zodiac constellation that the sun was in at the moment of your birth. Astrologers create horoscopes by looking at the current positions of the planets and stars and predicting how those positions will influence the different zodiac signs. Astrologers create horoscopes by looking at the current positions of the planets and stars and predicting how those positions will influence the different zodiac signs.
Astrologers create horoscopes by looking at the current positions of the planets and stars and predicting how those positions will influence the different zodiac signs. Astrologers create horoscopes by looking at the current positions of the planets and stars and predicting how those positions will influence the different zodiac signs. Astrologers create horoscopes by looking at the current positions of the planets and stars and predicting how those positions will influence the different zodiac signs. Astrologers create horoscopes by looking at the current positions of the planets and stars and predicting how those positions will influence the different zodiac signs. Astrologers create horoscopes by looking at the current positions of the planets and stars and predicting how those positions will influence the different zodiac signs. Astrologers create horoscopes by looking at the current positions of the planets and stars and predicting how those positions will influence the different zodiac signs. Astrologers create horoscopes by looking at the current positions of the planets and stars and predicting how those positions will influence the different zodiac signs. Astrologers create horoscopes by looking at the current positions of the planets and stars and predicting how those positions will influence the different zodiac signs. That sounds quite complex. How do they account for the individual differences within the same zodiac sign? That's where things get more detailed. Besides the sun sign, you also have a moon sign and rising sign, among others, which can give a more nuanced picture. That sounds quite complex. How do they account for the individual differences within the same zodiac sign? That's where things get more detailed. Besides the sun sign, you also have a moon sign and rising sign, among others, which can give a more nuanced picture. That sounds quite complex. How do they account for the individual differences within the same zodiac sign? That's where things get more detailed. Besides the sun sign, you also have a moon sign and rising sign, among others, which can give a more nuanced picture. That sounds quite complex. How do they account for the individual differences within the same zodiac sign? That's where things get more detailed. Besides the sun sign, you also have a moon sign and rising sign, among others, which can give a more nuanced picture. That sounds quite complex. How do they account for the individual differences within the same zodiac sign? That's where things get more detailed. Besides the sun sign, you also have a moon sign and rising sign, among others, which can give a more nuanced picture.
that sounds quite complex. How do they account for the individual differences within the same zodiac sign? That's where things get more detailed. Besides the sun sign, you also have a moon sign and rising sign, among others, which can give a more nuanced picture. That sounds quite complex. How do they account for the individual differences within the same zodiac sign? That's where things get more detailed. Besides the sun sign, you also have a moon sign and rising sign, among others, which can give a more nuanced picture. That sounds quite complex. How do they account for the individual differences within the same zodiac sign? That's where things get more detailed. Besides the sun sign, you also have a moon sign and rising sign, among others, which can give a more nuanced picture. That sounds quite complex. How do they account for the individual differences within the same zodiac sign? That's where things get more detailed. Besides the sun sign, you also have a moon sign and rising sign, among others, which can give a more nuanced picture. That sounds quite complex. How do they account for the individual differences within the same zodiac sign? That's where things get more detailed. Besides the sun sign, you also have a moon sign and rising sign, among others, which can give a more nuanced picture. The moon sign reflects your emotional side, while the rising sign, or ascendant, relates to how you present yourself to the world. Together, they provide a more personalized astrological profile. The moon sign reflects your emotional side, while the rising sign, or ascendant, relates to how you present yourself to the world. Together, they provide a more personalized astrological profile. The moon sign reflects your emotional side, while the rising sign, or ascendant, relates to how you present yourself to the world. Together, they provide a more personalized astrological profile. The moon sign reflects your emotional side, while the rising sign, or ascendant, relates to how you present yourself to the world. Together, they provide a more personalized astrological profile. The moon sign reflects your emotional side, while the rising sign, or ascendant, relates to how you present yourself to the world. Together, they provide a more personalized astrological profile. The moon sign reflects your emotional side, while the rising sign, or ascendant, relates to how you present yourself to the world. Together, they provide a more personalized astrological profile.
The moon sign reflects your emotional side, while the rising sign, or ascendant, relates to how you present yourself to the world. Together, they provide a more personalized astrological profile. The moon sign reflects your emotional side, while the rising sign, or ascendant, relates to how you present yourself to the world. Together, they provide a more personalized astrological profile. The moon sign reflects your emotional side, while the rising sign, or ascendant, relates to how you present yourself to the world. Together, they provide a more personalized astrological profile. The moon sign reflects your emotional side, while the rising sign, or ascendant, relates to how you present yourself to the world. Together, they provide a more personalized astrological profile. I see. And how do daily or weekly horoscopes work? Those horoscopes generally focus on the sun sign and are based on the movement of the planets through the different zodiac constellations. Astrologers interpret these movements and their aspects, or angles, to forecast how they might impact individuals' lives, focusing on common themes like love, career, and health. I see. And how do daily or weekly horoscopes work? Those horoscopes generally focus on the sun sign and are based on the movement of the planets through the different zodiac constellations. Astrologers interpret these movements and their aspects, or angles, to forecast how they might impact individuals' lives, focusing on common themes like love, career, and health. I see. And how do daily or weekly horoscopes work? Those horoscopes generally focus on the sun sign and are based on the movement of the planets through the different zodiac constellations. Astrologers interpret these movements and their aspects, or angles, to forecast how they might impact individuals' lives, focusing on common themes like love, career, and health. I see. And how do daily or weekly horoscopes work? Those horoscopes generally focus on the sun sign and are based on the movement of the planets through the different zodiac constellations. Astrologers interpret these movements and their aspects, or angles, to forecast how they might impact individuals' lives, focusing on common themes like love, career, and health. I see. And how do daily or weekly horoscopes work? Those horoscopes generally focus on the sun sign and are based on the movement of the planets through the different zodiac constellations. Astrologers interpret these movements and their aspects, or angles, to forecast how they might impact individuals' lives, focusing on common themes like love, career, and health.
I see. And how do daily or weekly horoscopes work? Those horoscopes generally focus on the sun sign and are based on the movement of the planets through the different zodiac constellations. Astrologers interpret these movements and their aspects, or angles, to forecast how they might impact individuals' lives, focusing on common themes like love, career, and health. I see. And how do daily or weekly horoscopes work? Those horoscopes generally focus on the sun sign and are based on the movement of the planets through the different zodiac constellations. Astrologers interpret these movements and their aspects, or angles, to forecast how they might impact individuals' lives, focusing on common themes like love, career, and health. I see. And how do daily or weekly horoscopes work? Those horoscopes generally focus on the sun sign and are based on the movement of the planets through the different zodiac constellations. Astrologers interpret these movements and their aspects, or angles, to forecast how they might impact individuals' lives, focusing on common themes like love, career, and health. I see. And how do daily or weekly horoscopes work? Those horoscopes generally focus on the sun sign and are based on the movement of the planets through the different zodiac constellations. Astrologers interpret these movements and their aspects, or angles, to forecast how they might impact individuals' lives, focusing on common themes like love, career, and health. I see. And how do daily or weekly horoscopes work? Those horoscopes generally focus on the sun sign and are based on the movement of the planets through the different zodiac constellations. Astrologers interpret these movements and their aspects, or angles, to forecast how they might impact individuals' lives, focusing on common themes like love, career, and health. It's fascinating how astrology can provide guidance or insight. But how accurate are these horoscopes? The accuracy of horoscopes is a topic of debate. Skeptics argue that horoscopes are too general and can apply to anyone, a concept known as the four effect. Believers, however, find personal meaning and guidance in their horoscopes. It often comes down to personal belief and interpretation. It's fascinating how astrology can provide guidance or insight. But how accurate are these horoscopes? The accuracy of horoscopes is a topic of debate. Skeptics argue that horoscopes are too general and can apply to anyone, a concept known as the four effect. Believers, however, find personal meaning and guidance in their horoscopes. It often comes down to personal belief and interpretation.
It's fascinating how astrology can provide guidance or insight. But how accurate are these horoscopes? The accuracy of horoscopes is a topic of debate. Skeptics argue that horoscopes are too general and can apply to anyone, a concept known as the four effect. Believers, however, find personal meaning and guidance in their horoscopes. It often comes down to personal belief and interpretation. It's fascinating how astrology can provide guidance or insight. But how accurate are these horoscopes? The accuracy of horoscopes is a topic of debate. Skeptics argue that horoscopes are too general and can apply to anyone, a concept known as the four effect. Believers, however, find personal meaning and guidance in their horoscopes. It often comes down to personal belief and interpretation. It's fascinating how astrology can provide guidance or insight. But how accurate are these horoscopes? The accuracy of horoscopes is a topic of debate. Skeptics argue that horoscopes are too general and can apply to anyone, a concept known as the four effect. Believers, however, find personal meaning and guidance in their horoscopes. It often comes down to personal belief and interpretation. It's fascinating how astrology can provide guidance or insight. But how accurate are these horoscopes? The accuracy of horoscopes is a topic of debate. Skeptics argue that horoscopes are too general and can apply to anyone, a concept known as the four effect. Believers, however, find personal meaning and guidance in their horoscopes. It often comes down to personal belief and interpretation. It's fascinating how astrology can provide guidance or insight. But how accurate are these horoscopes? The accuracy of horoscopes is a topic of debate. Skeptics argue that horoscopes are too general and can apply to anyone, a concept known as the four effect. Believers, however, find personal meaning and guidance in their horoscopes. It often comes down to personal belief and interpretation. It's fascinating how astrology can provide guidance or insight. But how accurate are these horoscopes? The accuracy of horoscopes is a topic of debate. Skeptics argue that horoscopes are too general and can apply to anyone, a concept known as the four effect. Believers, however, find personal meaning and guidance in their horoscopes. It often comes down to personal belief and interpretation. It's fascinating how astrology can provide guidance or insight. 
But how accurate are these horoscopes? The accuracy of horoscopes is a topic of debate. Skeptics argue that horoscopes are too general and can apply to anyone, a concept known as the four effect. Believers, however, find personal meaning and guidance in their horoscopes. It often comes down to personal belief and interpretation. It's fascinating how astrology can provide guidance or insight. But how accurate are these horoscopes? The accuracy of horoscopes is a topic of debate. Skeptics argue that horoscopes are too general and can apply to anyone, a concept known as the four effect. Believers, however, find personal meaning and guidance in their horoscopes. It often comes down to personal belief and interpretation. That makes sense. It seems like horoscopes can offer a form of reflection or a different perspective on one's life. Precisely. Many people use astrology as a tool for self-reflection and to gain insights into their personal traits or life situations. Whether or not one believes in the scientific basis of astrology, it can still be a valuable source of comfort and perspective. That makes sense. It seems like horoscopes can offer a form of reflection or a different perspective on one's life. Precisely. Many people use astrology as a tool for self-reflection and to gain insights into their personal traits or life situations. Whether or not one believes in the scientific basis of astrology, it can still be a valuable source of comfort and perspective. That makes sense. It seems like horoscopes can offer a form of reflection or a different perspective on one's life. Precisely. Many people use astrology as a tool for self-reflection and to gain insights into their personal traits or life situations. Whether or not one believes in the scientific basis of astrology, it can still be a valuable source of comfort and perspective. That makes sense. It seems like horoscopes can offer a form of reflection or a different perspective on one's life. Precisely. Many people use astrology as a tool for self-reflection and to gain insights into their personal traits or life situations. Whether or not one believes in the scientific basis of astrology, it can still be a valuable source of comfort and perspective. That makes sense. It seems like horoscopes can offer a form of reflection or a different perspective on one's life. Precisely. Many people use astrology as a tool for self-reflection and to gain insights into their personal traits or life situations. Whether or not one believes in the scientific basis of astrology, it can still be a valuable source of comfort and perspective.
that makes sense. It seems like horoscopes can offer a form of reflection or a different perspective on one's life. Precisely. Many people use astrology as a tool for self-reflection and to gain insights into their personal traits or life situations. Whether or not one believes in the scientific basis of astrology, it can still be a valuable source of comfort and perspective. That makes sense. It seems like horoscopes can offer a form of reflection or a different perspective on one's life. Precisely. Many people use astrology as a tool for self-reflection and to gain insights into their personal traits or life situations. Whether or not one believes in the scientific basis of astrology, it can still be a valuable source of comfort and perspective. That makes sense. It seems like horoscopes can offer a form of reflection or a different perspective on one's life. Precisely. Many people use astrology as a tool for self-reflection and to gain insights into their personal traits or life situations. Whether or not one believes in the scientific basis of astrology, it can still be a valuable source of comfort and perspective. That makes sense. It seems like horoscopes can offer a form of reflection or a different perspective on one's life. Precisely. Many people use astrology as a tool for self-reflection and to gain insights into their personal traits or life situations. Whether or not one believes in the scientific basis of astrology, it can still be a valuable source of comfort and perspective. That makes sense. It seems like horoscopes can offer a form of reflection or a different perspective on one's life. Precisely. Many people use astrology as a tool for self-reflection and to gain insights into their personal traits or life situations. Whether or not one believes in the scientific basis of astrology, it can still be a valuable source of comfort and perspective. I might start reading my horoscope more regularly then, just to see what insights it might offer. That could be an interesting experiment, Alex. Keep an open mind, and you might find some intriguing or helpful guidance in your daily horoscope. Remember, it's all about what you take away from it. I might start reading my horoscope more regularly then, just to see what insights it might offer. That could be an interesting experiment, Alex. Keep an open mind, and you might find some intriguing or helpful guidance in your daily horoscope. Remember, it's all about what you take away from it. I might start reading my horoscope more regularly then, just to see what insights it might offer. That could be an interesting experiment, Alex. Keep an open mind, and you might find some intriguing or helpful guidance in your daily horoscope. 
Remember, it's all about what you take away from it. I might start reading my horoscope more regularly then, just to see what insights it might offer. That could be an interesting experiment, Alex. Keep an open mind, and you might find some intriguing or helpful guidance in your daily horoscope. Remember, it's all about what you take away from it. I might start reading my horoscope more regularly then, just to see what insights it might offer. That could be an interesting experiment, Alex. Keep an open mind, and you might find some intriguing or helpful guidance in your daily horoscope. Remember, it's all about what you take away from it. I might start reading my horoscope more regularly then, just to see what insights it might offer. That could be an interesting experiment, Alex. Keep an open mind, and you might find some intriguing or helpful guidance in your daily horoscope. Remember, it's all about what you take away from it. I might start reading my horoscope more regularly then, just to see what insights it might offer. That could be an interesting experiment, Alex. Keep an open mind, and you might find some intriguing or helpful guidance in your daily horoscope. Remember, it's all about what you take away from it. I might start reading my horoscope more regularly then, just to see what insights it might offer. That could be an interesting experiment, Alex. Keep an open mind, and you might find some intriguing or helpful guidance in your daily horoscope. Remember, it's all about what you take away from it. I might start reading my horoscope more regularly then, just to see what insights it might offer. That could be an interesting experiment, Alex. Keep an open mind, and you might find some intriguing or helpful guidance in your daily horoscope. Remember, it's all about what you take away from it. I might start reading my horoscope more regularly then, just to see what insights it might offer. That could be an interesting experiment, Alex. Keep an open mind, and you might find some intriguing or helpful guidance in your daily horoscope. Remember, it's all about what you take away from it. の練習はこれで終わりです。お疲れ様でした。もしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いします。それじゃ、またね。